So you want to make a DIY caldera cone, do you? I got you. What's going on guys, Jax the Bearded Hiker here. So what you guys are about to see here is the build on the caldera cone that will fit the Tokes 550 milliliter cook pot. Now it will also fit the modified version and what I mean by the modified version of is the Let's see if you can see that. The Tokes pot that has the rib that's rolled into it or the bead roll that's in there. Now, that's actually what we're going to be working on first. And then I will show you the modifications to do to it if you want to use the regular unmodified version of the Tokes titanium pot. So uh, let's get busy. Also, I'm going to try to leave this pattern uh, on my blog. So you can actually go there and print out this and all you'll have to do is trace it out onto a piece of titanium and you will be in business. So uh, let's get busy. All right, now that we have our pattern here all traced out, it's time to cut it out. Okay, now it's time to trace it out onto our titanium. So quick tip, maybe it's pretty obvious, but when you trace this out, your cone's gonna be going this way and this titanium has a natural bend where it's been folding. So rather than trace it out on this side, trace it out on this side. Get me? All right. Now I'm, well, I'm not cutting to the outer trace or the line, I'm cutting directly in the center of it. I don't know if it really matters. And uh, you're gonna make sure you want some sharp scissors like I got here. Okay, we're gonna keep cutting. Oh, and don't forget to take your straight edge now. We've got our marks here where the crimp's going to be, so lay a straight edge, line the two ends up, so you know where to crimp. Alright, so now that we have this all cut out, our next step here is going to be to punch the holes. Okay, now I've tried the handheld hole, pun hole punch and it did not work out very well. So, I own a business, so I just, I have one of these, and it basically what it is, is it's, uh, you know, a hole punch, and it does like, you know, three, four, five, or something at the same time, okay? But you see these things here? All right, those are inside. They're very easy to remove. They just remove by these little screws here. Okay, so what I've done is, and the reason why I've actually removed one is you can see there's no way to get uniform thing, uh, uniform holes without doing that. Okay, so what I've done, see if I can find it here, removed one of these. Where in the hell is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, so as you can see here, let's see. I removed that. Ooh. All right, there you go. You can look at it. Okay, so now I'm able to manually do it one hole at a time. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And we'll start down here. So, easiest way to do it put it in here, line it up, make sure you're on the hole. And remember guys, if you miss the hole or come close, the magic marker, it, it rubs off with a little bit of alcohol. 
And when I found the best way to puncture the holes, because you're never going to be able to uh, punch the hole with your finger, so take a ha the end of a hammer like this, and I just kind of hold it on there and give it one little quick deal, and boom. See that? There we go. We got one hole in. All right, so we're going to uh, finish doing all these. And uh, we'll try to speed it up or something. All right, guys. We got all of the holes done up here. So now it's time for our bins, our crimps. You're going to do one down and then the other side the opposite direction. So we'll start here. And now I just got one of these little tools here. Uh, you can pick these up at Harbor Freight. It's, it's just gonna make things a lot easier. But you're gonna basically line it up really good. Okay, and then be easy. Go ahead and make your crimp. Just like that. Get a good break in it. All right, and then we'll go ahead and finish the crimp. Now don't crimp all the way down. I mean crimp all the way down, but don't, you know, like get on there and stand on it. You want a little bit, a little bit of a gap, you know, where you can get your fingernail under there. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do the other side, the opposite. So that was folded in. We're gonna fold this one that way. Same thing. Now I will say this guys, the slower you go on putting these holes and bending this, the slower you go, the cleaner that this thing is gonna turn out. You can see where I started going a little bit too fast and I got a little bit of a ding right there. And also, when I did the first one, I uh, tested this, so I got these holes pretty good, but you can see in the middle here, there's none, and that's so you can face that towards the wind or whatever, but if you needed to, you could add more holes if it wasn't burning fast enough for you. Okay, so now, Basically what you do to put this together, is slide that just like that, and voila. Now, if it all goes well, our pot should slide right down in there. So, let's check it out. Okay, let's see if this thing will fit. Looks perfect. And we had to make a little bit of a modification to the uh, crimping there. All right, let's move that out of the way and let's show you the non-modified version of the Tokes fit. Now this is the other one that I did and you can see where I just kind of cut out a little notch here. All right, and we'll go ahead and use this pot stand. So that's, this is if you have a pot stand, all right? It just fits down in there like that. Boom, you're ready to go. Okay, let's say you don't have a pot stand you're using some other type stove, then all you have to do is drill you a couple of holes in the side here. All right, and then we're just gonna pretend that we've already done that. And I'm gonna use these holes up top. You'd slide your titanium stakes through there or your bicycle spokes through there. All right, put your stove would be in there. Then, boom. All right, I know you guys are dying to see this uh, deal in business. I got about two cups of water here. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, oh, oh, let's do this. Go ahead and light it. Let's see. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. Anyway. It's on, trust me. Whew. All right, let's put that on there. All right, we're on. 
Let's go ahead and uh, start it. Let's see how long it takes to boil. Eight minutes, in roughly about eight minutes and 30 seconds, we, we got a boil. I'd say we got a wiener. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make that DIY caldera cone. So I want to throw this out there. I am still going to upload this pattern to my blog, but I'm not going to put the crimp dotted lines on there. Uh, that way you'll be able to use, uh, it'll be a pattern for both the modified toques and the regular toques. Do your crimping on your own. What I would recommend is take your piece of titanium and in the video where I showed where the crimp was, don't don't crimp on that because there will be no dotted lines. Put, put it around your pot like you want it, then mark where you want to make the crimp and then after you mark it, then go ahead and crimp it. The DIY Caldera Cone. Do it.